it is Brittany so in today's video I have another human hair wig review for you guys they are a higher-end human hair company that specializes in curly wigs of different textures so if you are interested in hearing all my thoughts and everything then just keep on watching did co-wash it um i don't really shampoo my brand new wigs i do co-washing instead so i use the ogx tea tree conditioner and then i use my shea moisture frizz free curl mousse to clump the curls along with my felicia leatherwood brush and i let it air dry for a few days and this is what it looks like it has a nice shape to it um i would probably prefer something a little bit longer for me but for the people who like you know shorter wigs this this is this is for you i still think this is a really nice shape very pretty and i like how the ombre is the ombre is a little bit higher so the roots are a little bit shorter it's a nice fade on it um yeah, and the curls are popping and very soft. And this is 100% dry. This is a really nice shape. It has that nice, you know, heart shape to it. If they have any coupon codes or anything, I'll have those listed in the description box for you guys. Yeah, so I don't 
recall having like a whole bunch of shedding during the washing process but you will get some regardless of the price point of the kinky curly wig you'll get some you get shedding when you wash your own natural hair you know during the washing process it's just gonna be the amount of it i don't recall it being like excessive so that's fine uh like i said once i set my curls i don't run my hands through it so i don't know if it tangles it's i don't i don't know because it's curly and i'm not gonna run my hands through it because i got it fluffed out how i want it to look i, I didn't do a sunlight test for you guys because this is a closure wig and i decided to kind of take out just like a little bit of my hairline out in the front i just took out like a little sliver like right there and just put it in front of the lace you don't have to do that you can just wear it all on your hairline like like that but i just thought it would look a little bit more natural if you took out just a sliver of hairline with your rat with your rat tail comb and go on about your business this is easy i've been doing a lot of glueless installs because it's just if you can do a glueless install and your wig look good why not try and i've been trying it a lot lately as you guys have seen on my channel and even before I put it behind my hairline, the lace looked fine. But the reason I didn't do a sunlight test is I'm not really utilizing like the hairline. I'm just, I just put a little bit of powder in my parting space and that's it. So this is also a glueless install. I just don't have the hairline showing that much. So if you are a beginner, definitely, you know, practice with glueless install so you don't have to melt it down. But if you're going to an event, you know something like that you probably do want to melt it down for extra security if i want extra security if i want extra security with this glueless install that i'm doing with this week here i'm just going to put i'm just going to take some bobby pins and secure the side and shout out to you guys for tuning in subscribe if you haven't already help me to continue to grow um and follow me on all of my social media platforms especially instagram at i fancy cupcakes as well as tiktok um same handle i fancy cupcakes and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys